Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Before we get started, let me remind you that all the products you see used to create this video will be listed in the description box just below along with links. Also, if you have any questions regarding any of the techniques you see me use in this video, just leave it in the comment box just below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you enjoy these free tutorials and would like to show your support for my channel, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. I post videos every Friday and they are either alcohol ink or watercolor. And some of the watercolor paintings that you'll see me post can also be created using alcohol ink. So if you have any questions on how to do that, leave it below and I'll get back to you soon. Um, your interaction with my channel is very helpful and greatly appreciated. So for this video today, I am painting bachelor buttons. And I'm using Arches watercolor paper, cold press, 100% cotton. And I am using my Muno pan set along with my Princeton Aqua Elite brushes. And I do believe that the brush I'm using for these flowers is a size 4. So um, before I started my painting, I penciled in a guide for the placement of my flowers. And I find that very helpful because it helps with the composition of my painting as opposed to just going at it and uh, making it up as I go along. So I've used a very diluted uh, mix of indigo and just a little drop of scarlet lake because the indigo alone was too blue and I needed it to be a little bit more purple. So the first thing I did was to place the centers of my flower with a heavier consistency of that mix and then I went in and created the first layer of my petals with a diluted mix of that of the colors that I mentioned prior. And to create these petals, they come from the center of the flower and it's very thin. And then I extended the ends of the petals by using four small strokes. And hopefully you can see what I mean in this video, as my description is not so great. But um, while the first layer of petals was drying, I used a mix of sap green and olive green to create my stems and that bulby part of the flower that connects the petals to the stem. And the stems and petals, uh, or rather leaves of these flowers are very, very thin and very delicate. So they were very easy to paint. And now that the first layer of petals is dry, I'm using a heavier consistency of the indigo and scarlet lake to create my second and final layer of petals. These are very simple flowers to paint and uh, this particular painting will be a birthday card. So these little paintings are um, very quick and easy to do and uh, I don't always frame them, but I do use them as greeting cards, birthday cards. And sometimes I make bookmarks out of them as well. So now I'm just adding a little of that um, indigo and scarlet lake mix to the buds as though they're just about to open up and adding some final touches to my petals. And the leaves of these flowers are very easy to paint. They are very fine and long and they go all the way up the stem of each flower. So to create the leaves, I'm just using the tip of my brush and dragging it across the paper and painting them in in different angles all the way up each stem. So this is very simple. I hope you give it a try and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.